Hello, and welcome back to another video. Uh, <laughs> this is, what, the third in the playlist? I don't even remember. Uh, but the plan for today is, is I wanted to explain my favorite method on the string class in Python, uh, and some ways that you might be able to use it or adapt to other situations, or, I don't know, just kind of introduce it and see how that goes. Uh, but let's jump into that. Okay. So we're going to start by opening a file. I got some feedback on previous episodes that, you know, I should probably slow down a little bit so you guys can get everything in. And uh, I'm going to try and pause a little bit more often. And you guys are free to pause the video as well. So, <laughs> you know, whatever you need to do, make it happen. Uh, right. So today we're going to be looking at the string class, which is kind of the uh, one of the, one of the built-ins in Python. You know, you get one if you make a, a string literal. Hello world, and then, you know, type x is stir. And stir has a bunch of different methods, and we're only going to be talking about uh, kind of like three of them today. Uh, but first, we need to make an imaginary problem <laughs> sense to explain this. Uh, and the imaginary problem that we're going to be using today is we're going to be trying to uh, sort requirements in a requirements.txt file. Uh, I actually pulled this example from some of my code because uh, we're, we, we're going to be talking about the partition method today. Um, and Python files. Uh, and the one we're going to be stealing from is in... Oh no, where is it? <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to give it away, but I'm stealing this from a previous example that I have in some of my code. Uh, so let's start with our list of requirements. And let's say we have, you know, good old, good old buddy pre-commit. Uh, maybe we also have a package that's, uh, I don't know, pytest equals equals 5.2. And let's say we install a package that we only want on Windows. So uh, one that I needed earlier was called Windows Curses. This platform equals... Is it single equals or double equals? I don't remember. Let's check. Uh, it appears to be double equals. Okay, cool. Win32. All right, so we've got a list of packages here. Uh, let's unsort them just to uh, make this slightly more, more interesting because they started sorted. Uh, tab explains. <clears throat> okay, so... What I want to do here is I want to sort these based on the package name and otherwise ignore, you know, environment specifiers or equality uh, or like version pins or other stuff like that. And I guess normally what you could do is parse these or the requirement parsing library, but let's say we're just making a, a one-off script that needs to do this. Uh, so let's just make a small entry points so that's so that we can run this uh, and actually now that I look at this I think it's actually just gonna work if we do sorted um, so we'll we'll adjust it so that it doesn't uh, yeah we'll, we'll we'll adjust this in a sec uh, we don't have any imports cool uh, so we're just going to actually we'll use pretty pinned uh, is that will give us a slightly better output. I actually wish pprint was a little bit better, but unfortunately it's it's not. Uh, so this is what we get right now, and it is actually sorted properly, but we'll we'll introduce a pytest plugin which will make it not sort. Uh, let's say we're using pytest cut of. Where is that? Does that make it not sorted? Uh, does this sort first or second? It should sort second. Okay, cool. So these these two are out of order. Uh, so we'll be able to we'll be able to fix this though. Uh, and uh, I was typing Control C and then Control D, uh, Control D to send end of line so that this could end a little quicker. But I didn't quite get that properly. Okay, and just to satisfy our type annotation. Okay, so this is the broken version of our code. And we want to improve this such that it sorts properly. Now, you might look at these different uh, 
package names here, and one thing that you could do, and this is how I would have implemented it before I knew about stir.partition, which we're going to talk about in a second. Uh, so we're going to make a key function, which uh, should lead us to the package name and, and nothing else. Uh, sort key. And the way we're going to use this is it's going to take in a string and return a string, and we're going to implement that there. And sorted takes a key function. And this will... This will basically take the list, transform it into another list, and then use that to sort uh, so that it's not just sorting by the values. Right now we're sorting by the values and that's leading to these being out of order. Uh, so before I knew about the partition function, the way I would have implemented this is uh, something like this. If equals is in... Um, actually, it works fine for <laughs> split now that I think about it. But this is how I might have implemented it. If equals is in the string, then uh, package equals s dot split equals equals one. Uh, and then if semicolon in string package, actually we should just do s, we'll reassign s. <clears throat> semicolon one. Uh, and this might be how I would implement this before I knew about partition. Uh, and then, oh, we of course need to return s. And this does work, right? <laughs> no, it doesn't work because we need to access this as a list. Right, split returns a list, even if there's only one element in it. Uh, actually, this will end up with a two element or a one element list, depending on whether it contains it or not. And if we run that now, okay, so this is sorting properly now because pytest comes before pytest cov. Uh, this is kind of the old way that I would write this, uh, but the new way that I would write this without any branches is to use the partition method. So this is the old way. Old way using split. We'll leave that around so that you guys can see that. Uh, that so it's not a syntax error. Cool. So we essentially need to replicate this same logic, but I want to do it using partition. And partition is kind of a cool method in Python. Uh, let's take hello world as a string. And not with a syntax here. Uh, if you call partition on this, partition with some split string that it doesn't have, so let's take that equals equals example before, uh, partition will always return a three tuple. And if it doesn't contain the string, the entire original string will be the first value of that tuple. If it does contain the string, so let's say we were splitting on a uh, single space character, you'll end up with the first half of the string in the first part of the return value. You'll end up with the split value in the second part, and you'll end up with the rest of the string in the third part. And this is pretty nifty because it avoids some branching logic. So like you could see, you can imagine uh, like, Sometimes you would want to contain the left-hand side, and sometimes you wouldn't. This is actually exactly what we're trying to do here. So, like, this doesn't contain an equals equals, so we want this whole value. But if it does, uh, we want just this value. So we can use that. And I'm actually going to assign the other two parts to the underscore variable. This is just because I want to discard it. I don't really care about the values that are there. And so we can partition based on equals, and we can do the same thing with the semicolon. Oh, that's an L, not a semicolon. I don't know why I keep typing an L. I know why I keep ty typing an L, because I cheat when I type. Uh, so this will actually implement exactly the same as this, but we don't have this, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of a silly small example that, you know, this bracket zero bracket and this if statement can kind of look like a code smell, and this is at least a little bit more compact. You know, shorter code is not always better, but sometimes it is. And just to show that this works, yeah, you can see that pytest sorts between before pytest cuff. Uh, partition actually has a second, uh, or like a, a sister function called rpartition. So the difference between partition and rpartition is partition searches from the left-hand side of the string, although that's that's the other side. <laughs> uh, I'm mirrored in my in my uh, camera. 
So partition searches from the left hand side of the string and our partition searches from the right hand side of the string. So uh, another example where you might want to use our partition, and again, this is a silly example because it, you know, there's, there's better functions and better ways to do this. Uh, but say you're searching for a file name's file extension, or if it doesn't have a file extension, you want the entire file name. So let's do, you know, file name one equals foo.txt. Uh, file name two equals foo.bar.txt. Uh, this one's going to be tricky because it has two dots in it. See that in a second. And a third file name that's just, you know, a Docker file. So this one doesn't have an extension, so you want the entire, uh, the entire file name there. Now, of course, you could import os.path and use os.path.splitext. And that works fine for the first example. Uh, also works fine for the second example. Uh, but it doesn't really work all that well for the third example. And granted, the third example, it, it doesn't have a file extension. And so, like, you could write some branching logic that says if extension equals empty string, then use the file name. But we can be clever and use our partition to solve this. Um, to extension uh, return. Uh, so we're going to use our partition. <laughs> Actually, let's do it this way. We don't care about the file name. We don't care about the split. We do care about the extension. S.R partition on dot. Turn X. And if we call this function on those three values, F1, you'll see we get text. Now, granted, <laughs> it's a little bit different than the split X because split X keeps the dot there. Um, but presumably you could uh, write some code to, to fiddle with that. But yeah, this, this ends up working. We uh, get our full file name if there's no extension and we get txt if there is an extension. Uh, just to show you with the same hello world example from before, uh, if we do s.r partition dot, so this is when it doesn't contain it, uh, instead of, well, we'll compare it with partition. When it doesn't contain it, our partition will put everything in the right-hand side. Normal partition will put everything in the left-hand side. Uh, but the output is the same if it if it does contain it. Um, of course, we could change s to have more than one space, <clears throat> and then you'll see the difference between our partition and partition. So you can see like it searched from the right-hand side for our partition and from the left-hand side for our partition. Anyway, that wraps us up for today. Hopefully this method is useful in your endeavors. I definitely really like it, so <laughs> hopefully you guys do too. Uh, if you have more ideas for other videos that you would want to see, simple stuff like this, complex stuff, uh, leave a comment or hit me up on Twitch when I'm streaming. And yeah, let me know. Thank you all for watching and hope you guys have a good one.